All right, I get it. You've quit your job without a plan B and you are freaking out. Don't worry, I got you stick around. Hey guys, it's Jen Marilla here, also known as a social girl traveler, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to see you here again. This is where I share my knowledge on being an entrepreneur, blogger, and content creator. Now, before we get into it, I know why you're here. You've quit your job, and you do not have a plan B, and you are freaking out. Don't worry, I got you. So, if you have already quit your job, give me a thumbs up. If you're thinking about quitting your job and you've landed on my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you get notified on all my new YouTube videos. And don't forget to hit the little bell somewhere on the screen so you get notified when my latest YouTube videos are up. Now, you're gonna wanna stick around to the end because I have a little surprise for you and you do not want to miss out on this. Okay, so before I give you all the tips that you need in order to figure out what to do after you've quit your job without a plan B, let me give you a little bit of a backstory about who I am and why I have some credibility. Now, before I get into this, let's make something clear. I would not advise you quitting your job without a plan B. Now, if you do it, it's okay, it happens, been there, done that, it's all right, you will survive, but I don't advise it because it doesn't help the situation at all on top of whatever else is going on. So I used to work in New York City at a marketing agency. I was an account manager and I was there for almost four years when I decided to quit my job, to travel the world, to become an impact travel blogger. And now here I am five years later, I've created a business and a brand, but you guys, this path was not easy. Oh my goodness, it was not easy. I can't even begin to tell you the story. Struggles. So I want you guys to really consider that when you are getting to that stage where you're like, I need to quit my job. And if you aren't really sure what the reason should be, check out my latest video where I actually share all the valid reasons for you to quit your job. So let's get into it. So you've quit your job and now you're like, oh my God, what do I do? Where do I go next? So one of the biggest things I want you guys to remember is when I quit my job, and this is something that really hit home to me, was I kind of had an identity crisis. See, we're wired to go to school, get a job, and that's what we're supposed to do, right? And our jobs are our identities. If you study to be a lawyer, you are a lawyer. If you study to be an accountant, you are an accountant. Do you get where I'm going with this? There is a common thread and theme about this subject. And I think this is the hardest part about quitting your job and then choosing to be an entrepreneur and going down that journey. It is literally one of the biggest mountains you have to get over when you quit your job without a plan B. And so I want you guys to keep that in mind is the identity crisis, right? The fact that you are stuck in this pillar, in this box, in this container that you've been in your whole life and now here you are and you're like, what do I do next? Which brings me to the first step I wanna share with you. I want you guys to create a list, a list of all the things you love to do, like really, really love to do. And then within that list, highlight all the things that you think you're good at. And let me give you guys an example. I love to go surfing. I am not good at surfing. <laughs> I'm not gonna highlight that because I don't think I can make a career out of that. That's also like my passion. I love it. I'm like a kid when I do it. So that for me is just that container of I want it to be surfing. I want it to be only when I'm having fun. And so what I mean when I make a list of all the things you love and highlight what you're really good at is highlight the things you actually love to do. So I love to talk about business. I love to talk about blogging. I love to create content and do photography and tell stories. And so those are the things that I would highlight in my list. You guys can do that for your list. Now, step two. This is sounds really easy, but it's probably the hardest part of the list, doing market research. When I say market research, I mean go to your warm audience, friends and family, and ask them what they consider you being an expert in or how they look at you. Because you would be surprised to know how people actually look at you versus the way you look at yourself. And this could open up so many opportunities for you to be able to actually think about, ooh, I can actually make a career in this, right? So when I quit my corporate job, before I started traveling the world, one of the jobs that I had was actually a social media manager. I actually had a side business before I actually quit my job. So yes, it was a little helpful, but people knew me as that. Now, I wasn't crazy about being a social media manager. That wasn't my thing, but I was really good at it. And that's how people saw me as like a person who knew everything and anything about social media. Obviously gave me an upper hand when I decided to expand in that side of my business. This leads me to step three. You've already made a list. You know what you're good at. Then you've done your market research in step two. You've talked to friends and family. They're all telling you exactly what you're really good at. And you're like, wow, I actually feel like I love to do this and I'm good at this, whatever it is. So what do you do now? Well, I'll tell you what you don't do. You shouldn't go open an LLC. You shouldn't open a bank account. You shouldn't do any of that. What you should start to do is start to get clients. And I know you're probably like, wait, what? Time out? No, really. The reason I say this is because it gives you a little bit of a boost when you already have the clients and you know you're going to make the money to then go and open a bank account and get an LLC because then you're officially a business. 
this. And all you need is one person. So what I would do is I would hit up friends and family and see if you can provide services. And maybe it's at a lower rate than you normally would charge or what you really wanna charge, but just to get customers in that container and then build your clientele list for testimonials and credibility and all that fun stuff. And that is how you're able to create a plan without having a plan. Okay guys, so remember I said I had a surprise for you? Well, if you're at this stage where now you've started a business and you've working with friends and family and people that you know to create testimonials and you really wanna take it to the next level where you wanna learn how to start an LLC, how to create content, how to start a website, all little nitty gritty things. I actually have a private Facebook group where I help people do this stuff for free. It's called the Passionate and Purposeful Entrepreneurs and you can join somewhere in the description below. Make sure you find that link. You want to be part of it. All right, gang, so there you have it. I've shared with you all the tips that you need when you quit your job without a plan B. Find out what it is that you love to do. Then ask your friends and family what they think you're good at and what you think you're good at. And then figure out whether or not you can turn it into a business. And guys, I will say this very last thing. One of the biggest reasons people do not quit their jobs, besides the financial aspect, is because of fear. And I get that it's scary, but if you only have one life to live, do you really want to live it doing something that you're not actually enjoying? Think about it. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video and I hope that you've liked it. Comment below and let me know where you are in your corporate journey or if you've already quit and you're freaking out about creating a business and what that looks like for you. What's stopping you? Is it the fear? Is it the knowledge? Is it the tech? Because I know that's something that stops a lot of people as well. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Until next time, have an amazing day, guys. Thanks.